Estimated weight is 187 pounds. It feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors, and today, Dad pulled me out of school early, and we're heading to the house to pick two watermelons right now. So, we are going to pick two watermelons and head to Washington, Arkansas, to a watermelon way off, and this way off is watermelons only, so I'm really excited. I think I have a big one, hopefully we end up placing you think you have a big one? We do, we have a big one. Jack convinced me to pull him out of school early so we could hit the road. We got a long drive. It's about seven hours down there. We're going to try to make it most of the way tonight. But first, we got to get them harvested and get help over here to get them in the back of the truck because I cannot lift the big one by myself. Yeah, if you saw the video where we took a watermelon to the county fair, that one weighed 122 pounds and... I think that's all we're going to be able to get out of there by ourselves. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing the bigger one. <laughs> yeah, so we're almost home. We're going to go gather everything up, and I'll see you in the patch. We made it from school, and we're in the patch. And our watermelons of choice, this is one of them. I think this may be my biggest one, but some of them are still growing. And then... That one right over there, that's something covered too. That one's mine. <laughs> yep, Dad will be entering that one and I'll be entering the big one. So, we're gonna cut these off and we're gonna leave a lot of vine because we're gonna try to shove it down in water. So maybe it'll soak up some of that water. But when we get to the way off, we'll probably have to cut those off. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, it's now growing. There's that one. Let's go to the other one. All right. well, that one looks good. Yeah. This one's estimating around 140 to 150 pounds. And that one's estimating... 196 pounds so how much 196 so or how are we gonna get that in the truck I don't know me and dad got it on the sled and this is just a regular snow sled that you can probably fit two people on two little kids so yeah it gives you a size comparison My rope's strong enough. Still sledding, Jack. <laughs> Alright, we have this cellar that we backed the truck up to so it's not that big of a lift. Oh boy. That dude is heavy. <laughs> you think it weighs 200 pounds? It's definitely close. We got them all loaded up and I am super excited. We put them on a pallet and we put a layer of styrofoam and I'll get up, I'll hop up there real fast and show you our setup. And there's one thing we haven't tried before, which we don't know if it works or not, but it wouldn't hurt to try it. So. We took a two gallon jugs of water and we left that stem long and we put it in that water so hopefully it'll drink it up and gain some pounds. We got our blanket over top. As I said, we're on this plastic pallet with some styrofoam under it. And then we put two ratchet straps running through pool noodles. And 
and watermelons are under there. And here's what I was talking about. That stem runs down into that water jug. And hopefully it'll drink some of that up and gain some pounds. So I won't be like one pound short of 200 pounds. Well, all that said, I think we're ready to hit the road. We're going to pack a few more things up. We're going to hit the road. It's the next day. We ended up getting a hotel room last night. We are in Hope, Arkansas, right down the road from the way off. We have the truck parked outside. Four mounds in the back. So I am really excited for the way off. I hopefully will hit 200 pounds. You think we'll hit 200 pounds? I don't know, we're close. I, I sure hope that one hits 200. Yeah, and I'm excited to go see if the watermelons drank up any of that water, so. Well, it doesn't really look like the water level's changed any, but that's okay. It looks like it may have changed a little bit, but it certainly didn't drink the whole thing. So, we're gonna go ahead and put all our stuff in the truck, and we're gonna hit the road. And we'll see you at the way off. We're here, we made it to the Washington Farmer's Market, and this is a really neat little town. Hopefully we get to do it some exploring after we get the watermelons weighed, but first we have to get the watermelons unloaded, so I'm gonna go help with that, and then we'll weigh them, and hopefully we win. This is Tony, he actually gave me several of the seeds that I grew this year. We're going to help him unload his watermelon real fast. Tony, what is that? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's just an oversized zucchini. <laughs> Dad's backing up the truck and we're going to get our watermelons unloaded. The second one. That's a nice long one there. Yeah. Woo. Is that all the watermelons? No, we have two more coming. Yeah. Better make room. <laughs> Thanks. We have about an hour until the official way off starts. So, let's check out the watermelons that have came in so far. Here's R2, that's mine, that's Dad's. Jax is a lot longer than almost all of them, but... They're a lot bigger, so... It's gonna be close. And then this one's Tony's. And this one's Tony's son, Jacob. And these two, I don't know who these are, but... They're pretty big watermelons. Yeah. 
This is the first time I've done And there's some um, field pumpkins right here. And then this big thing. This is a bushel gourd. So, and then this weird looking thing. You already saw them unloading it. It's a marrow. That thing is weird. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to try growing those one year, but I, like I said, we have an hour till the official way off starts, so let's go explore around. This is a well? Yep, that's a well. It's an old well. It's pretty cool. It's locked. Can't get a drink. <laughs> the old bully that they used to dip some bucket out. Look at that wooden sidewalk. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Morrison Tavern. Jeez, that thing's big. It's pretty neat. Yeah. They pull the metal detect over here. I don't think they want you digging their yard, huh? <laughs> yeah. That magnolia tree is giant. Pretty cool. It looks like this is open, so we'll see what's in this visitor center. Oh man. It was an old courthouse. 1874 courthouse, that's cool. Should I go in? Yeah. Alright, they wouldn't let us film in there, but if you're ever in this area, I would high, highly recommend coming here. It's pretty cool in there. Yeah, I took some pictures of the old courtroom and the judges' chambers, and we'll throw them up right here. So, as you can see, those pictures are pretty cool. It's pretty neat. It's like going back in time. Yeah, and they gave us a whole map of the town. There's everything from a blacksmith shop to tours. One of the biggest magnolia trees in the world. So the one we, over there that we thought was big, he says is not big. So maybe we'll try to sneak over there and get a shot of that big magnolia tree. Wow. Yeah, we found the big magnolia tree. I think they said this used to be the biggest southern magnolia, but there's maybe one more bigger than it now. It, I have never seen anything even close to this. Go stand in front of that so we have... That is a massive tree. Yeah. Planted in 1839. Mm. Wow. Go stand next to that trunk. About to start. Well, welcome everyone. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's after 11 o'clock. Welcome to the Old Washington Farmers Market and to the 11th Annual Watermelon Way Off. It's amazing we've been doing this for 11 years now. Um, we have uh, four other ones that are not in our prize category today that have been brought by um, Mr. Tony Prochaska from Kansas, Simpson, Kansas. So that's the four over here on the end, and we're going to go through and do those before we start our watermelon part. Um, but just to let y'all know, uh, this one is, what we are is, this is an official way off spot with the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth. Now that's an association that promotes growing large fruits and vegetables, like you see here, worldwide. So these measurements are put into um, a chart that is then worldwide, um, with all the different weights on it, and then they will give a prize to first, second, third place in that category worldwide with that. Um, but again, I just want to say thank you um, to different sponsors that have helped with this. Um, Old Washington Farmers Market, we have a new category this year for youth that have grown, um, that giving prize money to them for those 14 years and under. 
uh, for first, second, third place, $75 for first, 50 for second, 25 for third. And in the, this is in the watermelon category. And then the Hope Hempstead County Chamber of Commerce has sponsored our winners uh, for first, second, and third with 500 for first, 300 for second, and 200 for third place. All right, we're going to go ahead right now and we're going to measure. Um, the first one that we're going to do is it's called a Morrow. 61 pounds for the Morrow. Tony brought a Morrow and it is the Kansas State record. It's pretty cool. They're starting the way Tony's bushel gourd right now. They got it all estimated and now they're going to put it on the scale. <laughs> 146. 146. Tony with another state record, 76 pounds. Kansas state record, Field Pumpkin. It's 74. It's pretty cool. So we want another Kansas state record in Field Pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not even going to So it's all four inches. So what they're doing right now is they're measuring all of them and calculating them. And then they're going to weigh them smallest to biggest according to measurements. What are you looking at? I'm trying to figure out how much it's weighing because I was four inches off on my measurements. Artist so far that we have had over this time has been Mr. Jeremy Lindley from Win Arkansas, who's here today. He has put his in, uh, but our largest that we've weighed is 291.4 uh, pounds. Um, with that, and that was in 2017. All right. Uh, first, what we're going to do is from one uh, Mr. Lloyd Brides. He has an exhibition one before we go into the ones for the competition. That we're going to put up here. Mr. Lloyd Bright has also been a world record holder and has had our his family and so forth with our claim to fame here in Hempstead County and continuing the tradition with growing world record watermelons. The official weight is 176 pounds. <laughs> it is from Paxton Lindley from Wynn, Arkansas. And his was estimated weight uh, was 141 pounds. That's number one. 152 pounds. I don't know. All right, the next one is another youth. Um, it's Jacob Prochaska. Estimated weight was 148 pounds. <laughs> One hundred and fifty three pounds. How many was the other one? One fifty two. One fifty two. That's the other two youths. Yep. One hundred fifty three. Number eight, Kent Waddell. This one's mine. Yep. Estimated weight for this one is 151 pounds. <laughs> 150 pounds. Next one is number two, Mr. Jeremy Lindley from Wynn, Arkansas. Uh, the seat for this one was a 302 pounder um, Kent watermelon. 160 pounds. All right. Place. So that was Jeremy in at 160, and they're saying that he owns the record for this yes. weigh-off. This is the 11th annual, and he hit. They said 290 something, so he's the he's the champion of this particular weigh-off so far. This next one, 
um, is Mr. Lloyd Bryce, um, grown from a 263 um, bright watermelon from 2005. Estimated weight is 182 pounds. 178 pounds. That's a big melon. You're up. Okay, our next one is Mr. Jack Waddell. Estimated weight is 187 pounds. It feels like it. <laughs> 170 pounds. All right, buddy. Yeah. Get up there and get a picture. I'm in second place right now. I don't know if that's Our next be. one is Tony Prochaskas from Simpson, Kansas. Uh, grown from 330 pounds vile watermelon seed. And an estimated weight is 187 pounds. A little further. All right. 204. 204 pounds. Awesome. Our last one that's estimated at 190 pounds is Miss Barbara Bright Jones, um, also a brother to Lloyd, a sister to Lloyd Bright from Bossier City, Louisiana. Grew up around here with the Jones fam Bright family. Um, hers is from a 260 pound bright watermelon. Estimated weight 190 pounds. 187 pounds. Do a youth category. Um, the way it currently stands, you can also potentially win in the overall, too, if they have a large enough watermelon. In third place, we have Paxton Lindley from Wynn, Arkansas, with 152 pounds. <laughs> Second place, Jacob Prochaska from Simpson, Kansas, 153 pounds. And then our winner is Mr. Jack Waddell with 170 pounds. Good job, Jack. And if we can, let's move our watermelons into place. Not first and place. And get a picture with all the youth. All right. Seventy-five dollars. Yep. Three and one. Seventy-eight pounds. So, Mr. Bryan. <laughs> Second place is Miss Barbara Bright Jones with 187 pounds. And then our winner for this year's uh, 11th annual watermelon way off is Mr. Tony Prochaska from Simpson, Kansas with 204 pounds. Uh, $500 prize money and first place ribbon. Well, we decided to end our day right here with this giant magnolia tree. It's, this is one of the most impressive trees I've ever seen. Yeah, I, my grandpa has a magnolia tree in his backyard and it's nothing compared to We this. always thought it was huge, but this thing is... Giant. On another level. But yeah. This little town, Washington, Arkansas, is super neat historical town. There's actually tours that go all through the town. There's a blacksmith shop you can go watch. Definitely, I had no idea this was here. Next year, if we come back to this way off, I want to come early enough. We can take the tour through town, check out the blacksmith shop. Yeah. Super cool town. There's a bunch of people doing what they can to preserve its history. 
and like this magnolia tree and putting on a great watermelon layoff so we want to say thank you to all the volunteers that helped with the washington yep. farmers market watermelon way off we were happy to make the seven hour trip down here and we will be back for sure and an update on the watermelon contest dad got last <laughs> <laughs> i got i got very last place at 150 pounds <laughs> i think there was a 150 a 152 and a 153 yeah. i just happened to get the 150. <laughs> yeah and i got 170 170 pounds and i got fourth place just outside of the prize zones and i actually got first place in the youth division and i got 75 dollars so we are we are not walking out empty-handed no and that and you got a new personal best yep 170 pounds is the biggest grow jack watermelon for now yep so hopefully i'll break it next year i'm already planting my seeds and getting everything ready yeah such a cool way off cool town we'll, like we said we'll be, we'll be back for sure and hopefully break that 200 pound mark next year yeah and maybe the state record i can say if jack doesn't break the 200 pound mark next year i'm going to <laughs> so guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up we're gonna make the long shot back home seven and a half hours yeah it was with all the traffic it was more like eight and a half hours with all the traffic from labor day weekend getting down here it's labor day weekend saturday right now holiday weekend traffic was terrible but we made it had a good yep. day so guys go down there ring the notification bell like share and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you next video